Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food and another installment of Cooking with Val. Today we're going to cook something a little bit interesting. I'm not sure if you're familiar with monkfish, uh, but monkfish is also referred to as the poor man's lobster. So it used to be that the flesh of the monkfish, if cooked just right, had the same texture and maybe the same taste, depending on how it was cooked, as lobster. And it used to be cheaper than lobster, but uh, it's gone a little bit pricier over the past few years. So it's actually become more expensive than lobster. And what most people eat is uh, the, uh, the thicker meat off the tail. They kind of make a fillet from that or uh, uh, break it up into lobster meat. But, uh, but the rest of the fish kind of goes wasted. And so what I decided to do today is cook an entire whole monkfish um, and so I'm going to use a baby monkfish, and, uh, and that way we're going to cook that thing whole. I'm going to make a stew, a uh, Korean stew. Uh, I know there are several types of uh, stews, of fish stews. Uh, one called Meun Tang, uh, which was recommended by the uh, person where I bought the uh, fish in a Korean market. So um, uh, let me introduce you to uh, our menu item, and uh, this is the monkfish, which is probably going to be one of the most hideous things that you've ever seen in your life. I mean, just take a look at those, the teeth on that thing. This thing's flat, I guess it sits in the bottom, opens its jaw wide, eats lots of little fish and everything. But essentially, this looks like, I'm just going to go ahead and say it looks like something that came from Poseidon's bum. Um, so. Um, it's not a pretty fish. Uh, it's not scaly at all. It doesn't feel like it has any scales at all. Um, I don't think it was scaled, um, but this is one ugly mofo. So uh, we are going to uh, cook this in a stew. I'm going to use daikon radish. I am going to use uh, peppers. I'm going to use some zucchini, some garlic, some ginger, uh, some gochujang, some, you know, a bunch of different things. Uh, finish it off with some crown daisy, which is also called chrysanthemum leaves. And, um, and we're gonna have ourselves a nice, spicy, Korean-themed stew. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Well, here's the finished product. It's a stew with the two fish. They cook down pretty small, which is really kind of strange. Like the flesh just kind of compressed off them. And, um, and this is what we have left. So uh, it looks like a nice strong broth. Uh, the vegetables cooked. Um, I have some uh, mushrooms and some soybean sprouts on the top of that. So uh, uh, I guess we're just gonna go ahead and dig in. Kind of want to eat the face, but uh, there's still those uh, formidable teeth to contend with. So let's just... Uh, Let's see if we can find a hunk of tail. There we go. So let's go ahead and try this. I have a feeling it's going to be bony. You know, there's bone sticking out all over the place here. That is one weird looking fish. Ugly as hell. Get some of the broth in there. Maybe a couple of the vegetables. I have a feeling this is going to be hot because I put the uh, gochujang and uh, some Thai chilies in it and uh, a little bit of uh, jalapeno. But, uh, you know, basically most of the recipes call for some peppers, so it's going to be hot. Uh, it smells okay. Something in there is bitter. I think it's the chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum leaves. That's a strong bitter, though. I'll just go with the fish. Man, that's got some weird bones. Okay. The fish itself is really sweet. And it's not chewy like lobster. It doesn't have that 
well, like lobster chewiness to it. But this is really pleasant. There's a um, strong oceany taste, but you know, I put kelp in there too. And um, you know, a little bit of fish sauce. I don't know if that's the right way to make it or not. I don't much care. I don't know if you, see, you can see this, how it's kind of like a white flaky flesh here. That's really mild and tender. Well, that broth gives it some nice flavor though. So, I think we were successful. Later on, I'll dig down here and see if I can find the face, and eat some of that meat off that. But um, um, don't be afraid of this. Monkfish can be a little bit intimidating, looks wise, and um, and certainly don't uh, don't waste the fish. So don't go for the tail meat and then uh, get rid of the rest of the fish. Cook the whole thing down. Make yourself a nice stew. Um, you know, make something else. But um, but give it a try. Uh, monkfish actually tasty and ugly at the same time. So um, do you try something different? Leave it in the comments below. Let us know what you did. Let us know what you think. And we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.